All right, hey guys, it's uh, the Star Vixen here. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Returnal, right? The big game, PS5 exclusive. I know a lot of some people have posted it, um, maybe not a lot. Um, it has had some popularity, being like one of the only PS5 exclusives, minus Demon Souls and a couple others. Whereas Returnal really was the first product that like PS5 made as an exclusive. And uh, I don't know, I have very mo mixed emotions on Returnal. That is, uh, I've been playing it pretty much since it came out. Um, I've been streaming it a little bit here and there. I haven't put any videos here on YouTube because, I mean, I could try to edit through them, but there's just so much of me running around and then dying and me running around and then dying, right? So, I mean, I'm just really at a point as far as games go where I'm not going to play Returnal, right? I have reached my breaking point there. Maybe I'll play it if I'm bored, but it's not a stream game. It's not a game I'm going to put any extra effort into. It's not a game worth editing for me. It's just a game I might play if I'm bored. So honestly, there's like a bunch of reasons why I just lo have lost my interest in the game and why it just can't keep me captivated anymore, right? So it came out April 30th, and I probably bought it a week after release. So first week of May, somewhere around that, maybe going into the second week. Um, and I've been at least 10 hours, right? I played it every day. I've not, for the first couple weeks, I, play, I tried playing it every day. I played a couple lives and then when I started streaming, I was streaming on Wednesdays for about three weeks. I'll play at least two hours, sometimes three, and honestly just get nowhere, right? I put all the hours into it. All I've done is beat two bosses, and I made it to the third. And even making it to the third was me sprinting through the entire area and dodging shit until I made it, right? And then I died at the boss. And you could attribute it that to lack of skill or whatever you want, but ultimately it's just too much work too much time for ultimately nothing at least for me a lot of people like to compare like the speed the pace of the game one of the more issues i have with other conflict to very doom eternal-esque right and it can be said that like, it's comparable and it's not comparable right doom eternal is also totally linear but also has a way better reward system in my mind and it's also not a roguelike so it's hard to compare but when you look at just like speed and combat it's like a the hardest version of doom eternal for me which I beat Doom Eternal on the easiest version and it took like six tries, right? And again, that can be contributed to lack of skill. But I have been playing the Doom franchise since freaking Doom 96, whatever it was, uh, the one that came out in 96. Um, I played that with my dad when I was growing up. And I don't know, it's just also the genre is getting lost for me, shooters. And that's like another thing is that it's a shooter and... I don't really have a lot of love for like jumping around in the air and shooting things and it used to be a genre that was very appealing to me but now I've moved into this more like RPG type genre move right now maybe like mystery maybe horror but not just like jumping around and shooting for hours uh, while I stare at a screen. I know we're getting off topic a little bit talking about Doom so much and which I'm not here to talk about I'm here to talk about Returnal um, I just want to use it as a comparison for that high speed high reaction type gameplay that Doom has which is very similar and a very popular comparison to Returnal but like another thing for me which I touched on a little bit is the reward system right every time you beat a boss you get something a grappling hook a melee weapon something to move in the water whatever and it can help you go through those areas each time but for me it's just not enough reward. I'd like more permanent things like other roguelikes, but I do understand that Returnal stands out as its own title and is good for many people. It's just one of those things that like I like more is a more complicated reward system, maybe like a more overtime reward instead of just one immediate reward. Um, and on top of that, it just increasingly gets harder and harder and harder, right? It took me forever to get through the forest. I got through there and then I was stuck in the desert forever. And then I got to the Citadel and the Citadel was absolute hell the citadel i had to sprint through just to get to the boss because of how bad the enemies were and how many there were and it's just like i'm gonna sprint through here over and over and over and over and over again it's gonna take me six hours to get to this area to fight a boss i'm gonna die to four times and then after all that maybe even one of four but after all that i'm just gonna get something that helps me again so i can run through this area fourth fifth sixth time it's just you know that's i understand that's how road likes are built but it's just not built for in a way that I like my games to be. I also get that I'm not the like say all be all right. I'm just some random person on the internet who's playing games and has a fucking opinion, right? And I know it could be very easy for them to be like, okay, you don't like the game, then don't play the game. 
and that's cool and that's exactly what i'm saying i'm not gonna play the game i think the game has a lot of qualities that make it extremely unique i think it's very interesting i think it's a overall good game but extremely challenging it really takes that right kind of mindset player to play it right and i'm not saying that i don't have it i just don't want to give it right it's gonna take could i beat returnal yeah i could be any game if i play it long enough right anyone could but i'm not gonna spend 20 hours 40 hours 80 hours i'll probably not 80 but you know you get my point i'm gonna have to play so much of this game that by the time i beat it, i'm gonna hate it and i'd rather stop now i like i still have a bit of appreciation for the game as for what it is and i feel like i honestly gave it a fair try it's my attempts i gave it like 10 12 hours is one i give most games that frustrate me like this and it's a good game what i would totally suggest it to someone who likes those type of games who wants a really good challenge but it's just something i gotta step away from you know and as far as develop developing goes and the game being of good quality it was good it was a fun time before it lost its glamour right i think it's for a lot of people i think who play it they're gonna find it very fun for now and then it's not gonna be worth the haul it takes to beat it but some people are just naturally better at video games and some people are really good at those types of games and people like that will just play through it and have a good time um and i'm getting kind of off topic but i guess my point is that i think returnal is a very unique title i think it's a good title it's just a title that i can't spend any more time on um and moving forward i'm just gonna kind of play it on my own and it'll probably be one of those games i never beat you know in conclusion all in all it was a good game it's just not a game that really keeps my interest these days and seeing that my interests are always changing maybe i'll come back to it one day maybe i'll beat it maybe i'll give it a lot more attention but at this point in my streaming slash gaming life um it's just gonna have to go on the back burner but uh yeah those are just my opinions on the game feel free to like comment tell me what you think if you agree with my opinions if you disagree with my opinions that's all good uh that's just my review of the game and why i just don't want to play it anymore and i think it's gonna have a very niche audience as far as people who do want to play it and that's cool um it might become a cult game who knows but yeah uh let me know what y'all think and uh you know i'll be on here next time